everyone it's time for another pint reaction video links in the description below go support pint they're amazing wonderful let's watch the video final fantasy 14 has a lot of hard content however yeah. there's one place in particular yeah, that does, is often does. overlooked featuring an island called eureka with i've never once been to eureka i've heard many a bad thing about it though i'm waiting until i finish palace of the dead before i try anything new though and I'm on the other one from Shadowbringers that I forgot the name of already. I am so good at playing this game. With four zones, each with their own unique threats and surprises. Ooh. And I was hungry for the challenge to see if challenge. it really was that bad. And so I entered Eureka. So I went to get my first quest from Cryo. Uh, uh, what do you want? One one quest, please. Uh, okay. I, uh, I need a crystal. <laughs> Yo, Pine's Cryo voice is like spot on amazing. Second best cryo voice besides, like, the real cryo voice. And of course, yeah, fetch quest, let's go. Okay, where is it? Uh, I don't know. What? Over there-ish, maybe? The first ball-crushing feature of Eureka oh had appeared oh sooner than I expected. Staring into my soul. I will give you a few quests to find items in the world. And unlike literally the rest of the entire f***ing game, there are no markers on your map to guide you. Just a vague text description of the general area. And to make it worse, it had been drilled into my skull and equally smooth brain that if you die in Eureka, you lose. I thought he was about to say you die in real life, and I'm like, huh, now that's a challenge. Levels. Oh, I just had flashbacks to playing the original EverQuest. That level loss, man. Thankfully, I never played 11. I know 11 had the level loss in there too, but my experience was with the original EverQuest. But honestly, it was rough, man. I kind of like that. Yeah, just don't die. Easy. It gave me a real sense of adventure and danger when I stepped out of those gates into the wilderness. I felt genuine fear when almost immediately I came face to face with a level 9 fucking cat thing. So I figured since Kryle was so intent on really making me work for this. Oh, 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 oh. New sleep paralysis demon has been unlocked. This one, I'd at least get some levels before oh, I go wandering cycle. aimlessly around the island. Huh? Where are those guys going? I got a bit brave and decided to follow the group. Okay, okay. Turns out they were all gathering to kill a boss. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of XP. I came up with a plan, so I didn't have to do any of that disgusting work. I oh, that's smart. Yeah, just join a random big group like that, let them all do the work, and reap the rewards. Easy. I would sit AFK, wait for a boss to spawn, and then, then run to it to freeload off of the effort of others. And if you're wondering if that's morally correct, then let me put your mind at ease. I didn't feel bad about it at all. But I still had to sneak through the jungle past- Listen, man, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Especially when you're low level. You gotta do what you gotta do. Especially when losing levels is a thing. Like, sometimes you gotta be a bit underhanded and sneaky about things. But, hey, the end goal is all that matters. Just a lot of high-level mobs. And the extra risk made exploring so much more rewarding. What will I see over this horizon? I hope it doesn't kill me. And after a couple weeks, I was making some good progress. My strategy got me so levels fast, bird. which made Kryle's quest a lot easier. And thanks to my immense effort, I had enough crystals to instantly upgrade the sword to max level. Don't oh, that sword looks kind of cool. Do you just want to... Now look, I was... I, licking it was not the first thing that came to my mind, but I would lie if it wasn't in the top five. I was enjoying Eureka so far, but I didn't really have a reason to keep going. What's that? I had a flashback. My friend was convincing me to quit WoW and start 14. He has a huge hat. Showed me zones. Cringe. He showed me jobs. Yawn. He showed me... Ozma. Oh. I know you won't all agree with this, but to me, it's the coolest mountain in the fucking game. Well, yeah, it's a giant marble that you just ride on. Oh, so you get Ozma and Eureka. I want to say I knew that, but I don't remember it. Well, everyone else is riding around on a horse or a cat. I'm pulling up to the roleplay club in my mathematical concept. <laughs> so how would a weary soul Amazing. get Ozma? First, you must complete all four zones of Eureka. Then you must complete the Baldessian arsenal. A challenging raid where if you die, you're kicked from the instance. Oh, I'll just do more damage. You won't get kicked. So if Easy. I wanted Ozma? It was time to enter Zone 2? You're gonna love Zone 2. Oh yeah? What's what's it like? I don't think he's gonna love Zone 2. 
oh, it's pretty much just like zone one, but harder and less fun. And there's less people there and it sucks. And I fucking hate you, Pint. Fuck you, Pint. I fucking hate you. Uh, oh my God. Yo, Pint, what the hell did you do to Kryl? Dude. Yo, Kryl just killed Pint. That's it. That's the end of Legacy of Pint. Great video so far. Yeah, RIP, bro. Oh, my head. Hey, have you recently experienced blunt force trauma to the head? Yes. Sounds like you could use some protection. Hi, Ooh, I'm a sleep helmet. paralysis demon, and this dream is- I just mentioned sleep paralysis demon earlier about it being Kryl, but now my sleep paralysis demon is going to be Salesman Pint. I don't know what's worse. Sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is sure to keep your internet safe from all kinds of cyber threats. Simply press a button and your the network will be encrypted. Safe from scammers, hackers, and the United States government. Using no comment. But this is hysterical though. I like I I love watching Pints uh, like in video ads because he's so creative with them. I just love how this is like a corny early 2000s video. NordVPN's state-of-the-art technology. You can change the location of your IP address. Not only does this give you privacy from prying oh eyes, it no, also allows oh, you to digitally creepy. hop from country to country, giving you access to exclusive mm -hmm. shows from other regions. Not even the government's gonna stop me watching my animes. So give it a try. If you're not satisfied, <laughs> right. Nord has a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's 100% risk-free. So if that sounds good to you, head over to nordvpn.com slash pint for four months extra on a two-year plan. Oh, Sign up bad. now or I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Now if you'll excuse me, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah, too bad pint can't reach my kneecaps. Got him, short joke. Well, this funny. was Pagos. Pagos. Oh, Pagos it's icy. sucks. Oh, it's oh, known sucks. to be the great filter where everybody quits. Oh. Which meant well, there was fun. fewer bosses to leech off of. And worse, there's less people to help you if you die. But don't worry, we'll talk about dying very soon. The layout can only is fucked. Oh. We got tight corridors, That's cliffs which make the map confusing, and worst of all, sleeping dragons. While oh, most mobs detect you based dragons. on sight, these fuckers got ears. So you have to slow walk past them. I. Oh, so it is a lot like Palace of Dead in that sense. Okay, that's interesting. Hey didn't know this. So when my dumbass was trying to metal gear around it, <laughs> oh, my strength fades and blood cools. Ready to lose my levels, I close my eyes and drift into dreamless slumber. Oh, you saved alive. me. It oh. turns out if somebody reses you before your death timer expires, you don't lose anything. But oh, cool. it was becoming clear my freeloading tactic wasn't going to be enough this time. If I really wanted that delicious reflective ball, I would have to grind mobs myself. But killing mobs yeah, one at a time part. wasn't going to be enough for me. As much as I like being the little wizard guy who cast the spells, I was hearing the call of my inner beast. Are you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Kind of, yeah. Warrior level boost, here we go. You got the level boost for warrior? No. Why? So, uh. Yeah, if I buy it in a video, it should be like a tax write-off. Ah, guys, from now on, I'm going to do recording for everything that I purchase in Final Fantasy XIV forever, and it's going to be a tax write-off forever. I said it here, it's going to be in video, so it makes sense. I deal so much damage. I have so many defensives. They can barely touch me. But even if they become a threat and I'm on the brink of death. Raw intuition. When you deal damage, hey. recover health. Just health, man. Do those that is why I use Warrior in Palace of the Dead. But honestly, if I did Eureka, though, I'd probably just try it as Black Mage until I got too upset or just crush it all because Black Mage is the best class. And that's where Pint went wrong earlier. Pint was using a red mage. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Black mage. He would have been able to clear all of Eureka in like five minutes if he was a black mage. As a warrior, Eureka was a breeze. Maybe. Cleaving down groups of mobs, fearing nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe one thing. Just Trials quest sent me to some scary oh, places, but oh, I'm a warrior. The horses, I, I could even 1v1 the bosses now. What the hell is that? It's just two legs with crystal. Oh, Eureka's terrifying. 
Pyros. Now, most people find this place easier because it introduces a new system called logograms. And what do what? they do? I don't know. It looks confusing, so I'd never, ever use them ever. That now, I know all the Eureka commenters are going to be really mad about me not using them, but Warrior just just worked. I decided to try and thug it out and beat Pyros as fast as possible. And in but a brief two days of gaming, I was done with the zone. And I didn't even die once. I died twice. The first one was to these Spriggans. But my... You lost the Spriggans, bro. Bro, 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 bro. You're a warrior. Just, like, heal. Second death... Says the person whose worst death in Palace of Dead was, like, on floor one something to like a bee happened all the way we up don't north that. while i wasn't recording i was genociding random creatures as usual when uh -huh. oh, look. while he wasn't recording i screamed for help but no one came for minutes i waited until this woman showed oh, what's up, up girl she rezzed me and i teleported oh, away hero status only for her to be swarmed by the same mobs and subsequently die in my place that is what i like to call a gamer move good job but worry not. I definitely ran back to her mangled corpse, raised her <laughs> off the ground, kissed her on the forehead, and everyone Aww. in the zone clapped. Forehead, and as speech. stressful as it was, it made me realize that's what makes Eureka fun. The danger of the world offers a wholesome push towards cooperation. It kind of reminds me of the design philosophy of some other old MMOs. And although my time in Pyros was- Not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting a little bit of, bit of WoW vibes, well, which, is, which is accurate. It, which is cool like i didn't know eureka was like this this actually sounds much more interesting to me than i ever thought eureka would be interesting to me like this sounds really fun well, it was quite brief it was probably my favorite zone in eureka surely nothing wildly different will happen in the last zone <laughs> nah, of course not Hi, this place seemed different there was a lot of people here oh. an unusual amount well it makes sense i guess the last zone that's where people usually conjugate when they're you know end game stuff however due to my social anxiety and crippling fear of other human beings i decided to shirk my character growth of last chapter and retreat into my sigma ryan gosling playstyle once more sigma male let's go but shortly after i had started the uh usual grind i was approached by <laughs> i can't even keep a straight face saying that a mysterious fellow a fellow on the Ozma map. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Need some help leveling up? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I appreciate the offer, but I, I don't want to be carried just because I'm famous, you know? Yeah, no, I've got no idea who you are. <laughs> I was going to say, like, be great if this is just some random person. Like, I don't know who this kid is. And lucky for me, <laughs> today they were doing a very special event. 24 oh, hours where they were helping as many people as possible get through Aww. the raid. That's so, nice. so like the pillow princess I am, I went AFK while they leveled me up. And oh, while the other zones took me a number of weeks to get through, I reached max level in Hydratos in 230 minutes. I That's... 23 hours, got it. I'm lying, I don't know, I don't know how long it took. And so much faster than I expected, I was ready to enter the Baldessian arsenal. Oh, and by the way, the game actually makes you sign a fucking waiver to get into- oh my god. Warning, the Baldessian arsenal is an unimaginably punishing duty. Even the entry conditions alone will not be easily fulfilled. An emerging triumphant will require teamwork, tenacity, time, knowledge, courage, strength, and not least of all, luck. Have you read and understood this warning? I have read it. Do I understand it? No. To the instance. Warning. The Baldessian arsenal. I, I didn't expect Pint to read it, so now you gotta hear, have to hear it twice, so deal with it. Arsenal is an unimaginably punishing- Yeah, 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 tons of service I accept. Then my Yay. new friends invited me to- <laughs> You guys group. got lucky. And honestly, I was pretty nervous. Valdesian Arsenal, a challenging raid where if you die, you're kicked from the instance. Alright, head on down. <laughs> Who was that? That, my friend, is none other than Big Motherfucking Green. The biggest Big fucking- green? Is it Piccola? Answer me. Who are you? Ah, it's Big Green! Let that child alone. Chad in Eureka. He's the raid leader, and he's done this hundreds of times. And his help was going to be monumental. Getting into the raid is usually somewhat complicated. The raid group waits for a boss to spawn at a specific time of day, and then you kill the boss, which gives each player a buff, allowing them to click on a portal, and then 48 pulls spawn all around the zone, which is one of the and then enter the raid. What? My brain hurts just from listening to that. 
So, it was time to begin. Most of the mechanics in here were manageable, but would one-shot you if you got hit by anything. So what you're saying is Black Mage would do good here. I see. The raid splits into two groups and begins to kill the first bosses. And as simple as the mechanics were, I was quaking in my little boots. I was pissing and shitting myself. I did not want to die to the first boss. <laughs> ah. Then you make Man, your way oh, down this hallway. But wait, there's fucking landmines. So what? Big Green goes on ahead to uh, <clears throat> disarm them. And then it was time. Invisible landmines? That's just, that's just mean. That is mean. For the first real boss. Raiden has a few oh. mechanics that, if it weren't for Big Green, would certainly result in some deaths. After a bit of horsing around, <laughs> horsing around, <laughs> suddenly, a mechanic where you have to pay attention. Oh my god. Oh, Very ew. sad. Oh. Then he starts casting a raid ride, and it's a rush to kill him before he kills you. It actually wasn't even close, and I was trying to hype it up for dramatic effect. More hallways, more trash, hey, and of course, more landmines. And Why? then we arrive at the next boss. Absolute virtue. This is the boss that in oh. Final Fantasy XI took players 18 hours to beat. I've heard about this boss from Final Fantasy XI. Even when I was a youth, I heard about its legend. Somebody died, like, fighting that boss, which is very sad. R.I.P. Very dedicated. I didn't... So Eureka is basically just Final Fantasy XI and Final Fantasy XIV is what you're telling me. Huh. Interesting. If you try to pull him normally, he is unkillable, repeatedly oh, healing sucks. to full before wiping the raid. Oh. But Big Green, love him to death, had his special little ops outside the raid, where oh. yet another boss spawns. When Big Green's little boys have killed the boss, absolute virtue is weakened. This fight was a step up in... So, in order to actually damage this boss, you have to literally kill things outside of the raid to... Damn. Dude, no wonder why nobody likes Eureka. This is, like, difficult. I want to try it. Difficulty. With almost every mechanic, you had to pay close attention to the boss to determine oh, which color was safe. Oh, and getting like it, it wrong even once would be lethal. It made me very worried how hard the last boss would be. But... Wait, this isn't the last boss? Oh. In spite of all odds, we survived. Nice. Well, well, well most of us. But there was <laughs> still one fight left. The boss that would give me what I came for. Ozma himself. Wait. While Big Green was explaining the mechanics, Didn't... I was kind of zoning out. But one thing did stand out to me. Didn't we already beat Ozma? Me. Ozma has a mechanic called Black Hole, and right. if you mess it up, Ozma will instantly suck you out oh. of the raid. And even say, if like, the party clears the fight, nice. you would get nothing. Oh, that sucks. And so the fight began. The first mechanics were oh. pretty trimple. That's and with Big Green's help, everyone made it through in one piece. Nice, but nice. then I noticed a little diva, and silly me had no fucking clue what it meant. It's a, is it a bomb? It's a bomb. He's probably gonna blow up. In my confusion, I ran to the wrong spot, oh. endangering the life of my dear friend, Jub the Cat Girl. Jub the no! But I lived, because oh. I'm a warrior, remember? Nice, oh that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Three more attacks, and then we'll see our first black hole. This was it. If I fucked this up, it would be game over. Huh. I thought of my long, arduous journey, the supple hills and valleys of Eureka, and mm. my fellow soldiers. Very supple. A simple adventurer's quest for one shiny ball. Mm. And now all I had to do was complete this one mechanic. Just, just dodge Move the buttons right now. It's safe to make your way back. Oh, oh okay. That, that was pretty easy, actually. Oh, that, Wait, that's, this, this that's is it. Bad. Big Green just died, but the boss is so low. Yes! All right, now is the time for Pint to get the anime power up because Big Green died. Pint's gotta be like Gohan against like 
any enemy in Dragon Ball Z when, you know, the original Big Green Piccolo died. That's very bright. Finally, it's mine. And now I can do the thing. What thing? <laughs> Hundreds of hours of content for a penis joke. This is why I love pint. Please subscribe. Next video is going to be pretty big. See you in 2025. I was not expecting it at the end. Oh my God, that was wonderful. Dude, what an ending to that. Like the buildup, the hype, and then just like Enos joke. Amazing way to end it. Another amazing Pint video. Pint's one of my favorite creators on YouTube, hands down. One of the best Final Fantasy 14 creators out there. So go please, you know, watch the video. Give him that watch time. Comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff to Pint. And then, you know, if you feel nice, you know, do, do the same to me. I got some, uh, I, got, I got a little button here somewhere to the left. I don't know, man, wherever YouTube puts it, wherever I decide to put it later. Who knows? And then just a video that's recommended. So y'all should go click on those things. It'd be great. Until next time.